Chain of command doesn't apply to other military contractors in the field. I don't see why it should apply to us. Caprese sandwich. Well, when they're in actual combat, whom exactly do your heroes report to? Same person as always. Me. Yo, what up? It's your boy Red, and I'm review season two of The Boys. So, following the events of season one, they're trying to get the supers into the government in order to fight these villain terrorists, which are being made by the company Vought. All our heroes are more underground than they've ever been following the events. A trains in the hospital. Um, eventually, we get to see the deep and some church cult. Starlight is still being a spy um after finding out that his wife's a life butcher we don't know where he's at eventually we do we figure out everything that's going on i don't want to spoil it too much so you guys can watch it the uh terrorist that we saw in season one gets taken care of by black noir we get to see a lot more black noir which is great queen mave and her relationship with the woman she loves uh homelander and dealing with how he killed that chick i forgot her name don't remember anymore and just things are coming in new characters coming into the show their relationships uh nazis there's a little lot of shit in this season right um and it's actually a really good ride it just takes a while the first couple episodes in the beginning are kind of slow to be honest with you i think it's just building up but damn does the ending deliver the last three episodes boom delivers I mean, even episode five too but it just takes a while to get there um yeah, but most of the stuff gets wrapped up neatly. A lot of blood, too, just like season one. A lot of characters get killed. A fucking whale gets destroyed. That's fucking crazy. Uh, Huey and Starlight's relationship is strained uh, following the events of season one. But do they rekindle? I don't know. You gotta watch, right? Um, new characters return. Uh, they're trying to fill season for the seven. Not really working out. They try to recruit some handicapable people. Homelander is not taking that shit because Homelander recruits whoever the fuck you want. He is Homelander and he does whatever the fuck you want. Now this season does have a lot more crazy things. We got a character with a dick that's so huge he rides people with it. Homelander masturbating and we got a lot of stuff in this show. A lot of sex which is what we, we love. We love this show. The violence, the nudity, the sex, the story, the premium characters. Everything plays into it. It's not just random shit, except for maybe the church thing, but we got to look into that. I don't know what the fuck the church, the collective is going with. I didn't really like that in this show. It, the whole deep side plot, they really didn't care for it. I kind of skipped a little bit through that. Um, and even towards the end, you don't know what's going on, right? Um, but yeah, all the characters are back. Great. Love the show. They're all amazing characters. I almost forgot that Kimiko is kind of immortal. She's kind of like Wolverine. And even at the end when like they're fighting and she gets killed, I'm like, whoa, what the fuck? But I'm like, oh, yeah, she's immortal. I forget about that crap. Uh, Huey's whatever. We get to learn about Butcher's past, which is great. Uh, we love Butcher. And the rest of the cast, we get a little bit more of their past with Lamplighter and all that stuff that happened. They talk about season one. We get to see that in the season, which is great. What else, man? There was so much. I'm probably forgetting stuff. Um, the whole movement. Uh, people finding out secrets. The, the the chemical, whatever it's called. Chemical V or V, whatever. I forget the name of it. The chemical that makes superheroes. They're trying to incorporate the first responders and stuff like that. This season has a lot of jam-packed stuff. And just great moments with these characters and new characters. And even some characters were like, what the fuck? Are we going to see these characters again? some released convicts i don't know i'm gonna give this one an 8 out of 10 one point less than season one that i gave it mostly because because of the collective and it's a little slower than season one but it's still as good i think but hey thanks for watching hit that like hit that sub and i'll catch you guys next time peace